Uh, so yesterday I covered software development life cycle, testing life cycle, and what is the difference between functional and non-functional testing in performance testing life cycle. We started discussing performance testing life cycle. Okay. Uh, not performance testing life cycle. So actually yesterday I covered performance testing at a high level, isn't it? Not perform, it's not performance mm -hmm. testing. Yeah. Well, I explained how do we do performance testing, right? at a very high level okay now today i will cover uh, i will cover what are the goals of doing performance testing i'll take till 7 10 or 7 o'clock so we started a bit late actually like bef just before i am starting through the session i got three to four calls inquiry calls uh, just before I start, I know I'm going to start. Okay. So, uh, yeah. So, today I will cover goals of performance system. Moreover, today we don't have, uh, we have a holiday today. That's why, you know, I had to come from home actually. All right then. So, what are the goals or what are the reasons for doing performance testing for a all, uh, newly built application and uh, you know, already developed application, right? So what are the goals of doing performance testing? It means why do we do performance testing for a, first let's understand for an already existing application, right? Which is already in production, right? So whenever, a, so we do performance testing whenever a new feature or functionality right. is added, right? So let, let's, let's uh, discuss some examples. Let's say, you know, WhatsApp, let's take WhatsApp. So any, what is the new feature that was added in WhatsApp? Anyone? Payment options. Right. Payment option is introduced in WhatsApp, isn't it? Uh, so, poll option and avatar also. Oh, what is that? Poll. Poll option. Yeah, yeah. Yes, poll. And uh, in the poll, settings, I know that. Payments, avatar I know. Also. What is avatar? Uh, I mean, uh, in uh, settings where we can change our DP, we can change the avatar, like same like Instagram. Okay, okay. Okay. So if you give WhatsApp kind of exam examples, people will be active. <laughs> right? All right. So whenever some new feature like this is added, right? Even though it is an already existing application, WhatsApp is existing for many years, right? So whenever some new feature like this is introduced, for example, WhatsApp payments feature or poll option, right? Or someone mentioned that uh, there is some avatar option introduced, right? So whenever some new feature or functionality is added, right, we have to do performance testing, right? Even though it is an already existing application. And whenever there are increasing number of users are adding new users. So I'll take another example for this. Increasing number of users are adding new users for any application. So everyone might have known uh, this Kotak Mahindra Bank right? and ING Vaisha Bank. Yes or no? Right? So everyone... Yes. Uh, so, so in two years back or something like uh, this ING Vaisha Bank was acquired by uh, there are some people who are who worked in bank. Right? ING by Vaisha Bank was acquired by which bank? You worked for some bank, right? Yes. Uh, uh, you should know about bank, uh, at least current affairs in the bank, right? What is going on? Huh? So ING Vaisha Bank was acquired by Kotak Mahindra Bank. Isn't it? Uh, I will not write it here. Rather, I will that is not required for class in class notes. So previously, before acquisition, ING Vaisha Bank has their own website, some ingvaisha.com or something. Isn't it? And Kotak Mahindra Bank has their own website, Kotak.com. Isn't it? Right? And let's say Kotak, this is Kotak Mahindra Bank net banking application. And this is, let's say this is ING Vaisha net banking application. Let's say there are 1 lakh users for uh, ING Vaisha Bank. And Kotak Mahindra Bank has some 5 lakh users. I like net banking users. I'm, I'm talking about net banking users. Okay. Now, 
so once this acquisition is completed or once the merger process is completed so ing vaishya bank will no longer that website will no longer exist isn't it so and uh, all the users all these 1 lakh users will start using kotakmahindra.com website yes or no now now kotak mahindra bank has to verify or do performance testing to confirm that their application can support the traditional 1 lakh users or not yes sir even though it is an already existing application kotak.com is an existing net banking application now they have to confirm like before merger or they have to make sure that their kotak my website supports the traditional 1 lakh users or not isn't it right so in such cases also we do this performance testing so this is one example for that increasing number of users are adding new users or else you know like state bank of india so uh, some banks were five, five four or five banks are merged into state bank of india two years back right and or, or else recently like andhra bank got merged into some other bank right right so now there will be increasing number of users or some more users will start accessing our application isn't it so then also we have to do performance testing and whenever there is a major software upgrade right like a database upgrade right or operating system migration on the servers os migration means so let's say like from windows 10 uh, microsoft has released windows 11 right and uh, they recommend to use my windows 11 so let's say for example on the servers we are uh, doing os migration means os migration is nothing but upgrading the operating system so then also we have to do performance testing on the so on that application let's say some application is running on windows 11 10 till now and now microsoft has released windows 11 and uh, they want to do the business want to upgrade the operating system to windows 11 right os migration that is what os os operating system migration means isn't it so then also we have to do performance testing right we have to check whether you know whether we are getting good performance or not on windows 11 or we are getting better performance on windows 10 only right we have to test that right so what we do is first they test in the test environment we do this operating system migration on the test environment and once they confirm that we are getting better performance then they do it in the production environment right and you know what is test environment and what is production environment everyone Everyone knows that, right? What is meant by production environment? We call that as prod environment or production environment. Prod for production envi environment. Production environment means right. Means live environment. So which is available for the real time users, real world users, isn't it? Test environment means which is used for only performance testing, right? Test environment means the environment which is used for performance testing. That is called as test environment. <laughs> Isn't it? I'll share this class notes also, but if you have habit of taking running notes, you can take it. If you are okay, if you can follow, you know, like uh, you can, uh, you know, you can note it down if you are taking running notes, okay? Actually, I plan to give a customized notebooks, but uh, their website is not working actually. So I have planned to give like a custom customized notebooks. So I'll give that if uh, once that is done, I'll give that. All right. So whenever we have some a software upgrade, uh, you see software upgrade like a database. For example, an application is using Oracle fourteen or fifteen. Huh? Yeah. So. See, sometimes we upgrade the database also, right? So what is a database? Database is something or the server or software which stores the data. It can be a server or it can be a software also, right? So it can be server or software which stores the data. So if there is some software upgrade, you want to upgrade the database version, right? Then also we do performance testing. First we do in the test environment and then once it is successful and once it confirmed that we are getting good performance or at least same performance, right? then we are, then only we will migrate, right? And uh, so when we get same performance, why should we upgrade? There may be some enhanced security features, right? In the latest version, there may be some security features, enhanced security features, isn't it? 
see what we in, in on our mobile also we see like uh, many a times like you know i don't know what is the frequency on android but on ios like we'll get you know for every one month we'll get some or one month or 15 days we'll get some software upgrade isn't it right so what is the purpose of doing that software upgrade so if like some features will be added right some security features will be added right some bugs will be fixed right so they will do performance testing and then they, they will release for the real time users right to production means we will get to, we will be able to do uh, that new version will be available once the performance testing is done right and whenever there is a hardware upgrade also whenever there is a hardware upgrade on the servers like web app and db servers when i say servers right they can be web server app server database server we will discuss what is a web server what is app server and what is database server okay but whenever there is some hardware upgrade on the servers also we do performance testing right so let's say for instance some some of you are having 4 gb of ram on your laptop and you observed that you know when you are running some programs so seven or eight programs your laptop is hanging and what do you do you generally go for a ram upgrade right some of you already done that recently isn't it so once you upgrade the so that is hardware upgrade ram upgrade means you are upgrading the ram you are adding some more ram or anything so it can be ssd right adding an ssd so some hardware is getting added now once you upgrade the ram right you will uh, you will test right you will test your system whether there is improve in, improvement in performance or not isn't it yes. So in same way, whenever there is some hardware upgrade on the servers, also we do performance testing. If you want to do hardware upgrade, first we do that in test environment, do some testing, and then do it do it in production. Right? Is there any use of upgrading or not? Right? Yes. And uh, any fixing of after fixing of any performance issues, we do performance testing after fixing the performance issues also to confirm that. Really, there is some improvement in performance, right? So I'll give one more example for this. Suppose you are you are getting poor mileage on your vehicle, right? And you take it to the technician. You take it to the mechanic and you tell him that, hey, I'm getting very less mileage or very poor mileage. So can you look into it, right? So what does he do? He does some servicing or he does some engine tuning. And after doing that, you will be interested to see, right? You will observe like one or two times. You will observe whether you you are getting any good mileage or not isn't it so in the same way here also if any application is having some performance issues after fixing the performance issues or uh, uh, we do you know we do performance testing to find out performance issues and after fixing the issues also we do one more round of testing to confirm that issues are fixed or not right okay so i will uh, modify it slightly so to find out any performance issues, performance issues, and after fixing the performance issues also, after fixing any performance issues also, we do performance testing, right? And ongoing or regular activity in each sprint. So what is meant by a sprint, right? First, let me explain what is meant by a sprint. So application development is an ongoing process be it WhatsApp or be it Facebook or be it uh, Amazon or any application or be it IRCTC or net banking application. So every month or every like every almost every month some new features will be added, right? So application development is an ongoing process and uh, this development, right? So uh, will be done in phases. Let's say for example, some projects follow two weeks sprint cycle means for every two sprints, they will deploy some new code. New code will be deployed for every two sprints, for every two weeks. And that is called as a sprint. Generally, mostly 90% of the time, sprint duration is two weeks in software. Okay. New feature or new code will be developed and deployed. New code will be developed and tested. Or else, you know, I will say developed and tested. Okay, so this is called a sprint. So application development, as far as application development, so some features are added to the application. We require all types of testing that we discussed yesterday. Yesterday we discussed some type of lot of different types of testing, right? Unit testing, integration, functional performance, and all this, right? As we are late today, I will I did not ask any questions, but from tomorrow onwards I will ask 
before starting the session, I will ask some questions, guys. Please be prepared for that. Okay. So first to five, 10 minutes, we will spend on assessment, some assessment, daily assessment. Okay. Now let's see what are the, why do we do, per, is it clear, guys, are any query here, query still here? No, Every software, software, yes. Oh, yeah. Okay, so new features may not be every added for every application. But some big bug fixes will be done for every two, one month or 15 days. Some bug fixes or something will be done. Some changes will be done. Any other queries before we move to the next concept? It's clear. Okay. So you should be able to, you know, like uh, uh, in what scenarios you see, this is an important interview question. In what scenarios we do performance testing or why do we do performance testing, right? Why should we do performance testing? Why should we do performance testing? Okay. Yesterday I attended one interview. I told you, right? Yesterday I attended one interview. Uh, that lady asked me, uh, an interviewer was a lady. She asked me, uh, like, uh, do we need a separate performance testing team? Why can't developers do the testing? Performance testing developers, they will be aware of the complete application. Why don't they do performance testing? What is the purpose of a separate performance testing team? Yeah. We'll discuss those questions. So this is one of the inter important interview questions. Why should we do performance testing? Or in what scenarios we do performance testing? Or what is the objective of doing performance testing? Okay. They can ask, you know, this question in multiple ways. So basically you understand that, you know, they are asking, you know, so these kind, these kind of examples are these kind of scenarios. You have to explain some of this. Okay. Now, so this is for an already existing application. Okay. I'll do one thing. I'll say like web application okay? instead of system. I'll say for an existing application. Again, application and it can be web application or a mobile application, right? Web or mobile, isn't it? Or a desktop application, right? For an existing application. So it can be web application or mobile or a desktop application. Clear guys. Now let's see for a newly, why do we do performance testing for a newly built application? So fine. This is the, these are the scenarios in which we do performance testing for a existing. already existing application. Now, why should we do performance testing for a newly developed application? Right? So to assess the readiness of production, right? To assess the readiness of production environment and determine user load capacity of existing systems. Right. So to assess readiness of production environment means how, how good it is to go into production, right? Or what is the user load capacity of that application? How many users can that application support? To find out that we do performance testing. If it is a newly developed application, right? We'll be interested to see like how many users can it support, right? And then compare performance characteristics with different system configurations. System configuration settings, system application settings. Okay, you'll understand that later. And support system tuning. To support system tuning, right? Now let's understand this. What is meant by application tuning? Okay. Suppose you have some performance issues, right? Uh, no, sorry. This is a newly built application, right? So whenever you know, if if you want to. Uh, if you want to, you know, make the application perform better, right? So we do this performance testing to make the application perform better. Okay. And, uh, yeah. and creating benchmark for feature systems. Okay. What is meant by benchmarking? So benchmarking is nothing but initial performance. One second. So benchmark is nothing but initial performance. What is that benchmarking? What is the meaning of benchmarking? Let me write it down in your class. Hmm? Goal setting. Huh? Hmm? 
What goal setting? What is that? Ah, yeah, we can say that for a goal setting. Yes. Yeah. So creating benchmark for feature system is let's say some application is newly developed, and uh, for that application over the time, some new features will be added, right? As the time progresses, some new features will be added, some bug fixes will be done and all, right? So whenever some new features are added, right? We just now discussed, right? So there may be some uh, there may be some degradation in the performance, right? Yes or no? There may be some degradation in the performance because of new features or new functionality, right? But how can we say that you know there is a degradation in the performance? We should have some numbers, right? Okay. So that is called a benchmark. Benchmark is nothing but initial performance of any application. Okay. Initial performance, right? And then compare application performance on multiple platforms. Okay. One second. No? So compare per application performance on different platforms, another important interesting thing, right? On different platforms. When I say platform, uh, nothing, it's platform, nothing but hardware and software, right? So see, uh, we have different types of computers, right? We have different Intel processor, we have AMD processor, and we have different operating system as well, isn't it? We have Windows operating system, we have Linux operating system, we have Mac OS, right? Isn't it? So those are the multiple platforms. When I say multiple platforms, or we can say a hardware platform or a software platform. Okay. Now, suppose, you know, one application is newly developed and client is interested to see on which platform we get better performance, whether we got on Windows or we get on Linux, right? Or we get on Mac OS or something, right? And these are the different flavors of Linux. Linux operating, we have different flavors of Linux operating system. Uh, Red Hat Enterprise Linux, CentOS, Fedora, SUSE, Ubuntu, right? SUSE Linux. This is Red Hat SUSE Linux, Ubuntu Linux, Fedora Linux, CentOS, Red Hat Enterprise Linux. This, these are the different flavors of Linux. Now, client will be interested to see on which platform we get better performance, right? So then also we do performance testing or we deploy that we run that application on one platform, see how is the performance. And then run it on another platform and see, compare the performance on different platforms. To compare that also, we do this. We do this performance testing, right? And <coughs> can you give some examples? You can give some examples, guys, for those who joined online, right? So you can give some examples. Can you give some examples of uh, comparing application performance on multiple platforms? You can give any real life example. Okay, we have app and web application. Oh. That is not exactly this one. The example, guess. Is a good example or a bad example? <laughs> good, sir. Okay, right. And next to validate. So, you know, you see why I'm giving these examples, these uh, examples is like, so that, you know, you will not forget those concepts. So you need not buy hard them. So if you understand the concept, right, you need not buy hard them. Okay. Now, next one, next scenario is if you want to validate any application against its performance criteria, if you validate any application, if you want to validate any application against its performance criteria. So what is meant by performance criteria? Let's understand that. Performance criteria. What is meant by performance criteria? Is what are what are the different performance criteria of any application? Performance criteria can be multiple things. One is application should support some n number of users. That is one performance criteria. N number of users. N can be anything. It can be 5,000 or 10,000 or 20,000 or one like whatever it is. What is it? Mm, yes. And that, that also falls under that is not performance system. 
ఆర్ఎల్సి ను బ్రౌజర్ కూడా సమ్ అప్లికేషన్ సపోర్ట్ సమ్ బ్రౌజర్స్ వెరీ వెల్ సమ్ బ్రౌజర్ సమ్ అప్లికేషన్ డజంట్ వర్క్ ఆన్ సమ్ బ్రౌజర్స్ దట్ ఈస్ నాట్ పర్ఫార్మెన్స్ టెస్టింగ్ ఓకే దట్ ఫాల్స్ అండర్ ఫంక్షనల్ టెస్టింగ్ దే డూ దట్ యూ నో వీ హ్యావ్ సంథింగ్ కాల్ క్రాస్ బ్రౌజర్ టెస్టింగ్ మీన్స్ టెస్టింగ్ అండ్ అప్లికేషన్ అక్రాస్ మల్టిపుల్ బ్రౌజర్స్ దట్ ఈస్ కాల్డ్ ఎస్ క్రాస్ బ్రౌజర్ టెస్టింగ్ సో దట్ ఈస్ డన్ బై ఫంక్షనల్ టీ ఫంక్షనల్ టెస్టింగ్ ఓకే రైట్ so application so what are the per, what is meant by performance criteria of an application okay so some application should support you know some n number of users 10000 users or 20000 users that is one performance criteria if we want to test whether that application supports that n number of users or not we do performance testing right or all the transactions should be successful or you know like uh, 100% transactions may not be successful uh so 99% of the transaction should be successful for example the, this this can be one of the performance criteria 99% of the transaction should be successful right this can be one of the performance criteria there can be some 1% error rate depending on the application see if you take jio mart or amazon or flipkart any any application so it will not be 100% you know it will not uh, you know, see sometimes we get some issues while placing some order isn't it so that you know that error rate can be 1% not more than that error rate can't be more than 1% if it is more than 1% that is not acceptable okay so 99% of the transaction should be successful this is one of the performance criteria now to test any application against the performance criteria we do this performance testing right whether it is supporting n number of users or not whether it is all the 99% at least 99% are pass transactions are passing or not right so to test those kind of some performance criteria also we do this performance testing okay and next one is uncover what components of an guys let me know if i am going fast okay or let me know if you are not understanding something fortunately in this batch you have only you know very less people so actually my batch will be 30 to 40 people every batch but unfortunately is you know unfortunately for me fortunately for you like you have very less people so that you know everyone will get individual attention okay so make best use of that got it so my pre i i, I think i have shown you yesterday my all my batches will be at least 40 people uh, for, at least for the last uh, one year Uh, i am i was having like 30 to 40 people in every batch but this is the first time because of you know december time or because of you know ration science right we have some less people we have very less people in your batch you are lucky you know in that aspect okay so if you have any queries or if you can't understand anything so feel free to ask stop me any time and feel free to ask okay and those who joined uh, uh gitanjali and you know someone joined uh, you know right uh, yeah only we have one new participant so please go through the previous sessions okay of course there is no dependency actually you know today's there is no dependency between today's session and previous sessions but try to complete those previous sessions by uh, to tomorrow and day after tomorrow so that you will be like uh, from monday onwards you will be on the same page as others understood are you with us gitanjali are you able to hear me yes yes i am able to hear you yeah so will we get the say recorded sessions for the last previous classes which yeah, has yeah, been completed okay yes i will share them okay fine hey anand i started uh, i'll start after the, at 7 o'clock anand <laughs> i'll start your session at 7 o'clock anand okay yeah now so now let's understand this point and uncover what components of an application suffer poor performance and under what conditions okay what components of an application suffer poor performance and under what conditions so let's understand this what are what is meant by components of an application 
what is the meaning of component guys what is the general meaning of component any small unit right part of something a part of something is called as a component or any small unit of something is called as a component right now when your application is suffering when your application is not giving giving good performance right there can be a number of reasons right i'll tell you uh, we will discuss one real life example suppose you are not getting mileage good mileage on your vehicle right why i am taking this example guys you have to take because you know yeah. ha huh. so why i am taking this example is our mileage example right so we are uh, having you know highest uh, fuel rates now isn't it right so mileage is important right for every every vehicle isn't it so so if you are getting bad mileage right then it can be because of number of reasons right it can be because of engine uh, your engine is not in a good condition what are the other reasons guys ha huh? Huh? What? Carburetor, carburetor. Okay. Ah, so it can be because of any component, engine or carburetor or ah, uh, else what else? Because of driving also, right? It can be because of driving also. It can be because of uh, low tire pressure or excess tire pressure. Yes or no? suppose you have very less uh, suppose you know you should maintain some 30 pressure as 30 in the tire but you have 15 or 20 but right? but you are not you know you you are not aware of that and you are driving obviously you will get uh, less mileage isn't it so there can be different reasons right it can be because of driving it can be because of engine condition it can be because of quality of the fuel right so it can be so there can be a number of reasons if you say like if you are not getting poor perform if you are not getting good performance for from anything right there can be different reasons reasons so in the same way if you are a web application or mobile application is not performing right uh, first let us understand what is this components of an application so any web application i'll show you some uh, typical architecture of a web application okay let's say you are using you know you can take any example like irctc or hdfcbank.com or icicbank.com right so any application consists of this is a trade, uh, typical architecture of any uh, web application it will contain different components like web server application server database server right any web application consists of these different components like web server application server database server i will explain what is web server what is app server in a separate session so for now understand that these are called as components of the application or these are the servers on which your application is running so these are the components of your application now if you are getting bad performance right it can be because of web server or because of app server or because of database server or it can be because of the network also right so that is what it, uh, it's mentioned here what components of an application you can correlate it with your bike example okay if you are not getting good mileage right it can be because of engine in bad condition or it can be because of gears right or it can be because of carburetor isn't it or it be, be, it can be because of spark plug also if your plug has life is over right you will not get good performance every time it will be stopping if you slow slow down the engine it will be your by your engine will be stopped isn't it and uh, you will get bad mileage you will not get good performance isn't it so in the same way here also there will be a number of reasons for poor performance so we have to to find out like what is the reason for that poor performance right and under what conditions we are oh. not getting suppose suppose if your roads are not good right then also we get poor mileage isn't it right so to find out like what is the reason for uh, you know which component is giving bad performance causing uh, poor performance and under what conditions it is giving poor performance right so we to find out that also we do this performance testing and find out any performance bottlenecks or performance issues performance bottlenecks means nothing but performance issues 
okay for that also we do performance testing even for a newly built application newly developed application okay so i'll stop it here for today i will explain i'll explain later like what is a performance issue or a bottleneck i'll explain that i'll stop it here for today so we'll just you know if you can ask if you have any queries you can ask sir i have no doubt yes yes please uh if there is any network issue then that also could affect the performance that we are testing for an application sir? yes yeah if there is a network issue also you will get poor performance yes So and before you told we, one point, uh, software tuning. Uh, what's meant by that, sir? I didn't understand that one. Okay, software tuning means uh, again, again. I'll take this bike example. Suppose if you, uh, you, you know, you know, bike or not, sir? Bike driving, or uh, you know, scooty or something? Yes, sir. Scooty and car. All right. So uh, and a car. Okay, good. So if you are getting bad mileage, what does the technician does? If if you say that, you know. Uh, mileage route, or else you know, pick up ballet. What will the technician does if the pickup is not good or if the mileage is not good? He will check the engine. Uh, he will check the engine and he will tune the engine, right? He will adjust the engine beating. Yes or no? Right? Yes or no? Did yes. you observe that any time? Right? So he will tune the engine, right? So in the same way, here also. We make some changes in the application and we tune the performance to tune the performance. Okay, that is called as application tuning. Miss making some changes and uh, to get better performance. That is called as system tuning or application tuning. Okay, sir. Yes. Then he, once he does the tuning, right, he will ask uh, now check the mileage and uh, come, please come again if you are still facing the same issue. Isn't it? In the same way, here also we do some changes in the application and to get better performance. In performance testing, also we use Agile model, like you said, sprint for fifteen days. Yes, all the projects, you know, web, uh, all the projects are following Agile methodology only. Most of the projects, ninety-nine percent of the projects follow Agile methodology only. Okay. So we'll have two weeks sprint, and we'll have like you know. Uh, two weeks low. So let's say, for example, in these two weeks, in this, see, we are in, uh, we sprint is this, you know, in my, in our application, we are in uh, Q4, uh, sprint uh, seven, sprint seven, Q4, sprint seven. Yeah. Means Q4 means quarter four, sprint seven, seventh sprint. So what is this quarter? So Jan to March is the first quarter, right? April, May, June is second quarter. July, August, September, third quarter. October, November, December is fourth quarter. So we are in Q4 and sprint seven. Sprint seven means, so two weeks is considered as one sprint, right? So I think we completed Q4, six sprints are completed till now, okay? Six sprints are completed till now. Of course, Q7, we don't have actually, sorry. Because, you know, because of this uh, vacation and all, we don't have sprints on otherwise. If some companies are working, right? So Indian companies, I think they will have like, you know, but uh, our US team is on holidays now. That's why we don't have a sprint now. Uh, means, so basically in Q4 sprint five, in the previous sprint developers wrote some code, some new feature is added or some bugs are added, fixed, right? In the previous sprint. And we touched those, we touched the sprints, uh, those, uh, that application in this sprint. For example, Q4 sprint five low and a previous 15 days low. In the previous 15 days, developers developed develop some new feature. Developers added some new feature. Right. And in next sprint test, testing team will test those new features. Test those, test the application along with the new features. Test the application which is having that new feature. Now in Q4 sprint six, right? Now again, in this sprint, developers will not be free. They will be adding some more new features and we will touch that in the next sprint, right? So next sprint that we have is, again, you know, we are the almost end of the year, right? Q1 sprint one. The next sprint will be Q1 sprint one, quarter one sprint one. 
means that will run from jan 1st to 15th approximately understood so in this sprint you know testing team will be developing the testing the application because developers did some add some added some new feature in the previous sprint okay so when while we are doing testing right developers will not be free they will be adding some more new features or doing some bug fixes and all in q4 sprint 6 and we will touch that in the next sprint next sprint we will touch that got it yes yeah so yes so most 99% of the projects they are following uh, agile methodology only and uh, two weeks the duration is called as one sprint that is also 90% of the projects follow uh, for you know in 90% of the projects sprint means two weeks two weeks duration any other queries <coughs> okay if you don't have any queries like i'll stop it here for today and guys please you know remember like we'll have an assessment every day okay from uh, so today is friday right so we'll have our next session on start on monday so meanwhile if those who joined late or something or those who want you know those who are from non it background so please go through the recorded sessions once okay or this weekend so that you know after one week i mean next weekend i will give one online test and everyone should attempt that online test so it will be 15 multiple choice questions you so, uh, you will have 15 minutes time to answer those 15 multiple choice questions and i'll show you once you attempt a test right i'll get a mail like this i think i have shown in the previous in the demo right in the demo i have shown you right as yes or no okay let me show that uh, uh, slide once so once you attempt the test right so i'll get a mail like this with your test results i'll get a mail like this okay so everyone should attempt the test everyone okay got it so you know please be ready so please go through the recorded sessions and uh, please be ready okay every week we'll have so first to two weeks we'll have test online test and then once the tool is started we'll have daily assignment scripting assignment it's mandatory for everyone everyone should work and share the script for review for example today i have reviewed you know uh, the morning batch scripts i'll show you so for this morning right so i reviewed all the uh, morning we are running one batch for load runner i reviewed the scripts uh, this morning today okay so i'll show you like you know and i'll be sharing the review comments so every student should uh, share the script to me for review like this i have a separate email id for that this one so you can see here right so all the students sharing the scripts and i'll uh, i am reviewing it and sharing the review comments like this let me show you that uh, number 2022 batch tracker right so this is how i share the review comments today i did this today okay so we are done with four scripts till now three scripts shared yes sir students huh? and i reviewed the scripts if the script is working fine or not right if the script is failing like uh, i gave here script share to me is not working right so i'll give, share the review comments like this all right so i'm stopping here guys for today my next batch student you know guys are joining so let me pass recording okay and if you haven't subscribed uh, subscribe to my youtube channel and if you, you haven't saved my contact number please save it then only you will get a broadcast messages uh, like uh, on whatsapp and if you, if i upload any demo sessions if you subscribe and turn on all notifications only you will get my free demo sessions or updates on the new batches so if you haven't subscribed you know uh, till now subscribe to my youtube channel which i shared you know i think i shared it to you already right yes sir no guys so uh, if you go to youtube and search for performance testing real time training you will get my channel like this with this logo okay so see you on monday monday then okay so monday from monday onwards few more people will be joining i'm stopping you here for today thank you uh, good night good night then bye